Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and kind of bear with me with this awkward angle just for a few seconds while I kind of do this intro. So I first want to say thank y'all for um, reaching out to me with your cloth diapering questions and topics that you would like me to talk about. And because I've received so many just different questions and topics that y'all wanted me to uh, cover on my channel, I thought I would do a mini cloth diaper series. And if I find some more topics that y'all want me to cover, I will film those a little bit later. But for this week, I'm going to be doing um, I'm going to be covering my wash routine, how I store the diapers clean and dirty. I'm going to be doing a Q&A on Wednesday. And then on Friday, I thought I would show you all my whole cloth diaper stash, like the different cloth diapers that I have. And then, like I said, today we're going to be covering my wash routine and how do I store the dirty diapers. So I kind of hope that all kind of hits on all the topics that y'all want me to cover and all the questions that y'all had. Um, if I do not hit on e either the topic or the question that you left me, please leave them down in the comments and I will get to it, I promise, because I'm a huge cloth diaper advocate, I guess you would say. I just want to help y'all out and answer all y'all's questions so maybe y'all could join me with cloth diapering. Um, there are really good benefits to it, so that's why I want to make sure I am very detailed and kind of answer all y'all's questions for y'all. So I first want to have a disclaimer um, before we get full on to this video or a few disclaimers. The first one being that this is my wash routine. I'm not one of those people that'd be like, you have to do this or you're not going to survive cloth diapering. Honestly, cloth diapering is just finding what works for your family as far as washing routines and products that you use. Um, as long as you're not hurting your baby, I really don't care uh, what washing routine you have. Um, I'm just trying to show you what I do as far as washing goes and what works for me and Ellie and all of that fun stuff. So I'm just trying to give you an idea of what it's like to wash cloth diapers and take care of them. Um, secondly, this is not my full cloth diaper stash. I have a much bigger stash of cloth diapers um, back in North Carolina. But right now we are in the middle of a military move um, and just kind of transitioning back home to Texas. So I don't have my whole stash here, but what you see is um, what I am using here to get us through the move and all that fun stuff. So those are my two disclaimers. And then, yeah, so we can go ahead and jump on into the video. Hey, it's Editing Katie. Just wanted to kind of pop in. I realized that the video did not go horizontal or the camera didn't go horizontal whenever I um, went to record the next two small clips. So it kind of looks weird, but I'm gonna leave those in because those are very important clips to the video. Um, but know that it fixed itself for the rest of the video and I just realized that when I was editing. So starting with my dirty cloth diaper storage, um, this is what I do. As she's using the diapers, what I like to do is I like to split one wet bag, one hanging wet bag with um, either inserts and then the other is going to be the covers. I like to do this because I'm gonna be doing two separate loads. That is my personal preference. I have learned that you can do like one big load with the mix of inserts and covers all together. Um, and that works out per perfectly fine if you have like a smaller load. But what um, if you're gonna have like a big load that's like almost a week's worth, I personally would put it in two separate washes. That's because sometimes the diapers don't get completely clean and they can still smell like pee or poop. Um, but I've uh, found like if you just do two separate loads no matter what, um, you never have that happen, you know. So that is why I do that. Um, as you can see, I do leave them I do leave them open. I do that because we do live in a uh, humid and hot climate. So as you can imagine, mold can grow deep down in there where it's dark. Um, so I just leave it open to let the air go. I have not had it stink up. I have not had it stink normally if I stick to my wash routine, but if I'm down to like doing it um, once a week, then that's uh, that like sixth or seventh day, I can start to smell it outside the wet bag. But if I leave them open and I wash Wednesdays and Sundays, then I definitely do not smell it. And I think that's because I am letting them get air versus if I was opening and closing the bag. So that is how I keep them from stinking. So these two uh, mini wet bags are, um, I'm gonna explain what they are. This one goes into the bathroom that, so that way I can put her cloth diapers that she was wearing to go to her bath. I can put that in there without coming all the way in here. And then this one stays in the, um, diaper bag and we have a lot of cloth diapers from over the weekend for when we were kind of going out for Mother's Day. It's typically not that much even when we go out it's like one or two diapers but because it was Mother's Day we were kind of running everywhere. So that one goes into the diaper bag and this one I will put in the bathroom for um, the cloth diapers that I take off her right before bath and yeah so that's what those are. So I'm going to take care of these first before we start to actually get to the washing. So. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take those mini wet bags that y'all just saw. I'm going to separate the insert from the um, pocket diaper if it ha hadn't already. 
usually I try to stay on top of that and do that but because I was out um all weekend long and I got busy I know that there's some that did not get separated so I'm going to do that real quick and put them in the um, big wet bags that I showed y'all right here behind me and then I will show y'all what we do when we go to, to the washer Alright, so, and I also like to put these, like, mini wet bags, I like to put them with the covers because they're kind of basically made out of the same material. And I will throw them inside out in there so that they can be washed really good. I also will try to unsnap the diapers also. And then, like I said, these ones did not get um, pulled apart. Also, which I'm going to go grab some cloth wipes that I know are dirty. Um, I didn't get to use them over the weekend. I made them hoping to use them because we're kind of at this awkward stage where I'm finishing out the last pack of um, disposable wipes that we have. And so I've been using those off and on trying to get rid of them. And I made cloth wipes to use over the weekend because personally I feel like that they um, wipe up better like whenever she's eating or whatever. So I made some for the weekend because I know that she was going to have a lot of like desserts and whatever her grandmothers gave her to snack on and so i made them well we didn't get to use them but i think i'm gonna go ahead and just take them out of their case and wash them because it's already been a few days and i like to refresh my cloth wipes which i'm gonna show y'all how to do um i'm gonna show y'all how to make cloth wipes also in this video so yeah that's what we're gonna do so like i said i like to put these little wet bags in with the covers um, with the wipes, as you can see, this is a used wipe, but with the wipes, I like to throw them in with the inserts because they are made out of the same material. So basically the same reasoning that I throw these in with the, in, uh, with the covers. So, yeah. And then we used this little pod, which, um, holds clean diapers whenever you put them in your diaper bag. It's kind of like a, um, basically like a travel cube, basically for cloth diapers. And since it's kind of been everywhere and all over the place this weekend, I'm going to go ahead and wash that with the covers. So, I'm going to go grab those cloth wipes and then I'm going to show y'all when... Okay, so since we are about to put them in the washer, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what washing products I use um, in my pre-wash and my main uh, wash. And yeah, so the first product that I use is this detergent. It is Tide Free and Clear. Um, I like this Tide versus the normal Tide because it's a little bit more on the natural side. I have used a, a normal Tide with no problems. They both work really well on making sure that the diapers do not have a stench or hold the stench of pee and poop. Um, I have tried natural detergents overall. They usually work for me for the first couple weeks and then like a month into using them. It seems like the diapers are holding on to the um, poop, uh, pee and poop. Um, stench for like weeks on weeks and so I feel like I never get a good wash with the natural detergents so I've kind of had success with it short term but not so much long term but with Tide I have definitely had long term use with it and it has not like given me any problems with the diapers holding on to the stench um, so highly recommend Tide products there are some that are not cloth diaper safe but most Tides for like one or two are not cloth safe so um highly recommend tide you can't go wrong there um i use tide like on our clothes um chris and i's clothes and that works real well for us just tide in general works real well for us not just for cloth diapers the second product that i use is the soxy clean now i usually get this in the powder form but the washer that we're going to be using um today it does not do well with powders this is my parents washer by the way um, it does not do well with powders, so I just picked this up in the liquid form. I like the um, purple OxyClean because it has an odor booster. Once again, it kind of helps that Tide get the odor of the uh, pee and poop out of the diapers and haven't had any problems with um, the diapers holding the stench in whenever I'm using this either. 
And then the another reason why I use this is it also keeps me from having any stains in the pocket diapers from her pooping. Um, it keeps all of the white part of the diaper that's inside um, perfectly like with no stains whatsoever whenever I use this. So highly recommend this for odor and stains. So you're gonna see me use both of these products in my pre-wash and main wash. So I have no particular order that I wash these cycles in. So I just picked the inserts to do first. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the washroom. So basically what I do to keep from touching with those inserts, I just kinda, and it kinda works all the inserts out of there. And then let me, it's hard to do one hand, but I just kind of, my trick here. It goes a little bit smoother when I have two hands to work with, but yeah, I just kind of shake them off into the washer. It kind of helps. Okay, so it's time to show y'all how much I use of everything. So for my pre-washes and my main loads, this kind of just stays the same across the board. So for detergent, I'm going to actually go all the way up to the number five and that's a lot i know but it's because it's a natural detergent i'm gonna go all the way up to the uh the fifth line here you know uh on the measuring top lids things whatever you want to call that the measuring cup i'm gonna pour that in and then for the Aussie clean i'm going to only do one line uh one measuring line and that is right here so i'm only going to use like one measuring line that's within inside the measuring cup top thing whatever you want to use and then i'm going to pour that in the pre-wash area which y'all can't see but like our washer hold on i'll switch y'all around okay so this is what this looks like um this is the main wash this is where i put the tide at and then that's the pre-wash where i put the Aussie clean at so we're going to shut this we're going to go ahead and go over here i've already turned it on now your washer might not have all the settings, so I'm going to go ahead over here and talk about what is happening. So, I like to do heavy loading on this particular washer, and that is because it's going to be on warm. The spin speed is going to be extra high. The soil level is going to be heavy duty, and that is the settings that you're going to want on your washer, however you want to. I typically don't go hot because you can kind of start to run materials that way. So, I like to stay warm or cold, but mainly warm. Um, the only time I go hot is if I'm going to strip things, but for the most part, I just stay with the warm setting on all of my uh, cycles. So this is going to go ahead and run that. And this setting on this washer goes for about like an hour and a half. So that's why I um, like the setting is because it kind of spends more time in that wash. So we are going to wash, this is going to be the first wash that we do. This is going to be like our pre-wash, which is supposed to get all of the nasty out of the inserts and then we're going to do our main wash um, next and it's basically going to be on the same settings with the um, same amount of detergent and OxyClean. So I'll show you all that again um, once it's time to do that. And then the third um, cycle that I do is I'm going to do either, I, sometimes I do the small load, sometimes I do the fresh wash, but these are basically like 15 to 30 minutes and it just kind of rinses all of the detergent and OxyClean out of the diapers or inserts so that is the third wash that we do so we do a, a pre-wash then a main wash cycle and then a um, rinsing cycle basically okay so we are here to do the second load so i'm going to put once again i'm going to fill it up to line five on the measuring cup and this is going to be our main wash of the diapers or of the inserts i'm sorry i should say because we have not done the covers yet um, but it follows the same washing like method like with the same amount of measuring of stuff and the same cycle so I'm gonna fill this up to that first line where okay so I'm gonna throw that in this stuff kind of it smells different from the um, powder oxyclean I should not be huffing cleaning products 
All right, so since we got our pre-wash and our main wash done, we are going to move on to the third wash. In this third wash, all I run this for is just to make sure that um, no detergent or OxyClean got left in the inserts. So basically, all we're going to do is just be rinsing the diapers out, or I'm sorry, the diapers, the inserts out. So we're going to go on Express Wash. If you have this washing machine, I don't know what you have at home, but here are the settings. Um, we are going to have it on cold. Um, it doesn't really matter what spin speed you have on or the soil level because, like I said, they're no longer dirty. We are just making sure that there is no detergent buildup in them. So we're just going to run that for 15 minutes, and then we will come and put them in the dryer. Right, so now that we have the um, inserts fully washed, we're going to go ahead and move them over to the dryer. But before I do that, I kind of want to explain something. Um, obviously, air drying is the best for inserts and cloth diapers just overall. Um, I have air dried before. It does make a huge difference in the diaper. But on the other hand, if you dry them on a very low tumble, you cannot run them in the dryer. It's just um, you have to make sure you're on a low tumble, low heat, so you don't run in any of the covers or any of the inserts. But it is totally possible to um, throw them in the dryer and get them fully dry instead of waiting for them to air dry. So that is what I typically do whenever I wash them in the washer. So I'm going to go ahead and move them from um, the washer to the dryer real quick, and then I will show you all the settings. So I've thrown the inserts in there um, with a dryer ball which you cannot see um i don't know if i told y'all before but you cannot use any like softener like fabric softener in either the washer or the dryer because it can cause your inserts and diapers to lose absorbency so i just put a dryer ball in there whenever they go into the dryer and we're going to go ahead and close this as far as settings what i do is i like to put it on a delicate setting so i like to do that and then i will raise the temperature to the second lowest temperature on the dryer because the inserts kind of take a little bit longer and need a little bit more heat than the covers do to dry, but I don't want to go um, too high on the temperature, so I just do the second lowest temperature on the dryer, and I do it for um, 60 minutes, and then that usually dries them pretty good. I might have to run it for like another 10 minutes, but um, that's completely okay. It just depends on my insert load size because the inserts are pretty thick. Um, some of them are six layer inserts some of them are four layer inserts so it just kind of depends on how big my load is on whether i do that extra 10 minutes or not but today i think i'll get away with just doing the 60 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and close that and start that all right so i went ahead and threw in the um, covers and the wet bags and everything make sure your wet bags are inside out because obviously the dirty part of the diaper uh, of the diapers have touched the inside of the wet bag and not the outside so you want to make sure that those are turned inside out so they get a good wash i went ahead and put in the tide um the same measurements as i showed y'all for the inserts and then i also did the oxy clean at the same amount that i showed y'all for the inserts so there is nothing really different about the settings on the washer um, i still have it at warm i uh, have the spin speed at high and the soil level uh heavy um Something that I just want to give y'all some knowledge about when it comes to your um, covers and wet bags is if you get the water too hot or the dryer too hot, you can delaminate them. And what I mean by that, as you can see, let me pick up. As you can see, the inside of the di diaper has like this plasticky laminated part on it. If you get the dryer or washer too hot, um, it can cause delaminating where this part starts to come off of the diaper and that is not good for your cloth diaper. So make sure you're watching the temperature uh, of the um, washer and dryer. The high, uh, the warmest that I'll get it on in the washer is at warm. Even if they are really bad like poopy diapers, I will only get it up to warm because I do not want that to happen to my diapers. And then I will show you whenever we go to put them in the dryer what we do for that um, to keep that from happening. So yeah, that is just like a kind of warning disclaimer. Um, okay, so this out. is what I like to do once the inserts are done drying, especially if I do them ahead of the pocket diapers and the wet bags, is I like to snap these diapers together and then I like to sort them out by brand. So these are Nora's Nurseries, these are Kinder Cloth, these are um, from Amazon and then these are from Amazon, but they're just made a little bit different um, as far as like the type of insert they are. So I like to do this because I have OCD, so I like to match like the Kinder Cloth um, inserts with the Kinder Cloth diapers. And then like in my main stash that's in the middle of the move right now, um, I like to uh, match like a Texas Tushy insert, insert with a Texas Tushy pocket diaper. That's just kind of my OCD. Some people don't care, but I do. 
Um, so okay, yeah. so now that the inserts are fully out of the way and separated, I went ahead and moved the pocket diapers and wet bags into the dryer and um, threw the um, dryer ball back in there with them. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then as far as the settings go for the pocket diapers and wet bags, I have it on the lowest temperature that the dryer can go to. And I'm going to do that for 40 minutes and that usually dries them completely. Um, pocket diapers are pretty simple as far as like drying pretty quick, even if they're air drying, like it takes like a day and a half if they're air drying. Um, so that's why I really like pocket diapers because if I have to hand wash and air dry, um, it's pretty simple for them to dry. Um, and then obviously having a dryer, it obviously goes a little bit quicker. So we're going to turn that on. And once they're done, I'm going to show you how I stuff the diapers and prep them and put them in their place. I'm also going to be showing you my cloth wipe setup and routine. Um, this kind of coincides with the cloth diaper laundry because I do it on cloth diaper laundry days. I have um, what I like to call two sets of cloth wipes to um, get me through the first half of the week and then the second half of the week. So... We are going to go ahead and prepare the cloth wipes to be used um, today. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a wipe container. You're going to need um, wipe bits, which I got these from Texas Tushy. They're oats and honey. They're my favorite scent. And then cloth wipes. And then, okay. also, sorry, I had to give Ellie um, a juice and some yogurt for a snack. But the first thing I do is I take the water off boiling and I'm going to let that sit while we get the cloth wipes folded and put into the container. So I'm going to turn this off and then once it kind of gets less steamy, I'm going to drop the white bits in there for it to um, melt. And then we will let it even cool down even more and then pour them on top of the wipes. So let's go ahead and fold the wipes. So I like to take um, 10 to 12 wipes. Um, each round that I do for um, either the first half or the second half of the week and that usually gets me through like almost four days worth of stuff maybe like three and a half so I just basically fold them like so let me kind of move the camera down so I like to flip it over and then I will put another wipe down like so and then flip it like that and that is how you can kind of get the wipes to pull a little bit easier for you um, so I'll do this. I'll get 10 to 12 wipes in a pile and then I'll show you where we'll go after that. First of all, y'all know I wash this container every time I put um, cloth wipes in them. I already had it pre-washed so for this video, but I wash this every time. It just kind of gives me peace of mind that knowing that the container itself is clean. Um, also, I just folded these and put them in and now we're going to put the cloth um, bit into the water and let the water cool for about um, 10 to 20 minutes. So that way it does not run um, this material. Like I said, you can't get this material too hot. So you have to definitely let the boiling water cool all the way down. Um, so that way it don't run your bamboo. Okay, wipe. as you can see, I put the cloth bit down in there and it is melting and I'll stir this with a fork and then I'll let the water sit and cool um, almost to room temperature so we can pour it over our cloth wipes. Okay, so now that the water has cooled in the pot, I'm gonna just pour some on the top to get it started. And then I'm going to kind of lift it up in the middle and pour some. That way it kind of can start seeking through. And just kind of do that. Yeah, and that's how you pour that over. And then I will... Put this over it and bring the first wipe up and boom and that is how you have a full container of cloth wipes ready to go to put on your cloth wipe part which i will show you later how i do that once i'm putting up all right so now that all of the covers and wet bags and everything is dry and my inserts are sorted it is time for the pretty um, basic last step um, of my wash routine which is just basically stuffing the diaper putting bamboo liner in it, snapping them, and then I'm going to set them off to the side because I, every week or every wash day, I should say, so like once or twice a week, I reorganize my cart and make it look pretty again, and I'll show y'all everything that's on there. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff them, put the bamboo liners in, and then um, we will um, organize the cart and show you that.
So I went ahead and snapped and put bamboo liners in all the ones that were dirty. Um, so since I did that, I went ahead and took off the cloth diapers that were on these two shelves of the cart. And I'm going to reorganize them and put in the new, uh, the clean ones that we had just cleaned. And yeah, I like to reset my cart after each wash because this allows me to kind of reorganize my cloth diapers and make them kind of look pretty basically is what I like to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I will organize up there and then show y'all my kind of cart, my cloth diapering cart. So yeah. break down each shelf um obviously those two shelves are the cloth diapers i'm gonna go into details of what prints of cloth diapers i have and what brands i have later on in other videos from the series so i'm not going to do that i'm just going to show you what those two shelves look like from back and in front um up here i have the wipes that we made and i'm gonna close that i have the burt's bees products that i use on her bum i also have her nighttime diapers up here and the nighttime covers and then also this is her swim diaper and then back here on these little like um hold on let me there we go on these little cut things i keep the bamboo liners her little um dog poop bags to put the poop in and then these are the cloth uh the cloth white bits that i showed y'all earlier we just have two cents right now and then this right here holds my extra travel um wet bags and also and that is what i keep on my cart um for the most part like i said it kind of gets disorganized as the week goes so i try to reorganize it um every wash day so that way it can continue to look pretty and nice and organized okay, so the only thing i have left next is just to put up my hanging wet bags throughout the house so that way i have them there for whenever i change her dirty diaper um, I hope this helped you find a wash routine for yourself and your family. I hope this answered a lot of your questions that you have about washing cloth diapers. And I honestly hope it showed how simple cloth diapers and wipes can be, especially whenever it comes to the wash routine. It does, it does not take me that long to do um, this whole entire routine now that I have it. I do admit it did take me some time to find the routine that, that worked for us, but once I did, 
I was golden. Um, so I hope this helped you. I hope this answered a lot of your questions. And if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments down below or hit me up on all the social medias. So that way I can answer them in the Q&A that's coming up um, here in a few days. Are you okay? She's okay. So I hope that you'll have a good rest of your day and I will see y'all in that Q&A.